Hello, today I will explain what is meant by Java is platform independent. So let us first understand what is platform. Platform is nothing but hardware plus software. So our hardware is our microprocessor or our processor. Let's assume this is our processor and our software is our OS. It can be Windows, it can be Mac OS, it can be Linux and many other software. So this is platform. So we are claiming that Java can run on any platform. So it means any Java program can run in Windows, Mac, Linux and any other OS which is available. So let's see how Java can do this. So before that let me show you what actually happens or what other programming languages used to behave like before Java. So let's say this is a microprocessor. So this is a processor. Let's say this is a Windows system. So when we write a program, let's say the program is in high level language, high level language. So it is nothing but we are telling add 10 and 20. So this is a high level language which our processor cannot understand. So what we are going to do, our processor can understand only zeros and ones. So we need to convert this high level language into zeros and ones. How do we do that? By using a software called compiler. So this high level language is sent into a compiler. This compiler will convert it into zeros and ones. This our processor can understand and this will give us a output. So this is what happens generally. So now let me tell you what is the problem with this. So in earlier days, let's say in 1950s, let's say there was uh, only Windows system in India. So if I write any piece of software, Let's say I design a software A and this software I am going to put it in a CD and I am going to distribute to everyone in India and everyone in India are using Windows system. So what I will be putting in the CD? I will not be putting this code. I will not putting, let's say this is a C++ code. I will not be putting a C++ code inside the CD. Why? Because if I put my code, my software code inside the CDA and sell it, anyone can see the code and instantly they will, you know, copy that code and they will name their software name as B and they will produce their own CD and resell it and I will lose my profits. Okay. So I'm going to lose my profits. So I'm not going to reveal my code. What I will do is I will put this code inside the compiler. This compiler will give me zeros and ones, which is called machine level language. So this machine level code, I will put it inside the CD and I will distribute to everyone inside India. So Indians are having Windows PC, let's say for this example. So when they will run this code, our Windows platform will instantly identify the software and it will give us a output. Now let's say we are, we have advanced and now Indians are having Windows, Linux and they are also having Mac OS. Now if I give this CD to them, this CD is having machine level language and if I, if they put the CD inside their PC and if they run, if it is a Windows platform it will immediately give us an output but for linux and mac os or any other os or any other os this platform this platform will not be able to identify this machine level language because it was compiled in a windows platform so this is the problem so now what happens now this cd will be only usable by by users who are having only windows system so i am losing potential customers. So they came up with a solution that is platform independent. 
so let's see how java can tackle this problem so now let's see what java does so let's say java is also having a code this is java this is also having a code let's say we have a code to add two numbers say we are adding 10 and 20 so what java compiler will do this is nothing but java compiler this java compiler is not going to give us a machine level language this is going to give us something called bytecode this bytecode is also called as intermediate level remember i told you an example where i am creating a software called a and i am putting it in inside a cd and distribute across india now in this case in previous case i put this machine level code inside the cd and distributed across india in this case i am going to put the byte code inside the cd and distribute across india so let's see what benefits this is going to give us so now let's say a person with windows system is going to put this cd inside it so this byte code will be sent to windows jvm jvm is nothing but java virtual machine so this is jvm so any windows system we can install jvm for windows so this byte code this jvm will read and it will give us machine level language machine level language this machine level language is then sent to a processor and this process is, is going to give us output so this is the process which is similar to this now what happens if this cd was put inside a linux machine so this is linux so linux machine we have to install jvm for linux machine so this byte code this jvm will take it it will then convert it into machine level language and this machine level language our processor will be able to understand and it will give us an output so what happens if it is put in inside a mac os a machine which is having mac so inside mac will be downloading and installing jvm for mac so this jvm is going to understand what this byte code is then it will convert it into machine level language this machine level language will be understandable by the mac microprocessor and it is going to give us an output so you can see how java is able to be platform independent java compiler will give us a byte code this byte code we can take and we can put it in any of the system and inside that system it will have a suitable java virtual machine and this virtual machine is going to convert it into machine level language and this machine level language the processor will be able to understand and give us the output so if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you